Hi, this is Aaron Lostness, and today I'm going to cover the future tense in Spanish in regular verbs. So let's go over some vocabulary you're going to hear in this lesson. Infinitive. It's the whole verb in its pure form. So decir, hablar, comer. Infinitive ending. They end in er, ar, and ir. Verb base. The part of the verb remaining when you remove the infinitive ending. So for decir, it's the ec. Simple tense. There are seven of them. The verb form consists of one word. Compound tense. There are also seven of them. The verb form consists of two words. The auxiliary verb and the past participle. Auxiliary verb. Also called the helping verb. It is a bear, which means to have. You're going to see this a lot in this lesson. Past participle. In English, it's a verb that normally ends in ed. You need the helping verb, which makes it a compound tense. In Spanish, they usually end in ado or ido. For example, I have eaten. He comido. He, which means I have, and comido, which is derived from the verb comer, means to eat. All right, so the future tense. It describes actions that will take place. The key phrase you're going to see is will or shall. But the thing about the future tense is you don't always have to use it when speaking of future events. Many beginner and intermediate uh, speakers use it as ear plus a ah plus the infinitive instead. For example, we will talk tomorrow. Vamos a hablar mañana. That's the present tense. Vamos is a first person plural of the verb ear plus a ah plus the infinitive hablar, meaning to speak. Or you could say hablaremos mañana. They mean roughly the same thing. Hablaremos mañana is more of a we will speak, and vamos a hablar mañana is we're going to speak. But you could use either one. But it's still very important that you learn the future tense if you want your Spanish to improve. Unlike the present preterite or imperfect tenses where the infinitive ending is removed and you add the appropriate ending to the verb base, the future tense uses the whole verb and then adds the appropriate ending. So does the conditional. So here's an example again. Present, I speak, hablo. I spoke, preterite, hablé. Imperfect, I used to speak, hablaba. Future, I will speak, hablaré. You can see right there the whole verb in its infinitive form is used. And the conditional tense and the future tense luckily share the same 12 common irregular verbs. So let's go over the regular verbs first. All verb endings, except for the first person plural, nosotros, have a written accent. The following three slides will cover the irregular verbs, which are used frequently in conversation and must be learned correctly. So instead of ponere, you remove the e and you add a d and it becomes pondre. Notice the third verb, tener. Tener is the most common verb used for to say to have. It is used for possession. On the following slide, you'll see another verb that means to have, the verb haber. You might want to take a moment to pause the video and practice saying these verbs out loud just for practice. Okay, this is group number two. The infinitive stem remains the same, but the final vowel of its ending is dropped. So sub, instead of sabre, they remove the e and it's sabre. Notice the third verb haber, meaning to have. Let's cover that verb on the next slide to make sure you have a firm grasp on how that verb works. Haber. Haber in the future means to say something that will have been done by a certain time. Haber is also an auxiliary verb used when forming compound tenses. Haber in the third person singular, habrá, is the future form of hay, which means there is or there are. When used by itself, habrá means there will be for both singular and plural. Example, there will be many people at the beach. Habrá muchas personas en la playa. Okay, this is the group number three. The infinitive stem is shortened and the verb ending is added to the modified stem. So basically, the seer and aser, they're, they're almost changed completely. But these, again, are very important to learn. Okay, let's go over some practice phrases using the verbs you've just learned. I will say the phrase and then give you some time to come up with the answer. I'll give you enough time to repeat it before moving on to the next example. When you see the word you, it can be either the second person singular, tu, 
or the third person singular, usted? I will give you both answers. Also, there's more than one way to say some of these phrases. The important thing is that you get the verb correct. Let's get started. Will it fit? Caber. Cabra esto? You will tell me the truth, Desir. So there's going to be two answers for this one. The two and the usted. Tú me dirás la verdad, verdad, or usted me dirá la verdad. She will put it on the table. Poner. Ella lo pondrá sobre la mesa. We will leave after breakfast. Salir. Nos saldremos después del desayuno. I will want to sleep in a while. Quiere dormir en un rato. They will have to go soon. The verb tener. Ellos tendrán que ir pronto. I will not be able to see you. For there. No podré verte. We will make hot dogs later. Hacer. Haremos perros calientes más tarde. You will know my answer tomorrow. Saber. Tú sabrás mi respuesta mañana o usted sabrá mi respuesta mañana. I will come before work. Venir. Vendré antes del trabajo. There will be food at the party. A bear. Habrá comida en la fiesta. It will be worth more in 20 years. Valer. Valdrá más en 20 años. All right, I want to go over a quiz uh, to test what you've learned. For example, you're going to see, I will want, she will say. I'll give you a couple seconds and I'll display the answer. Now, if you see the singular pronoun you, there's going to be two answers, tú and usted. Okay, so for the answer to this one, I will want and she will say, you want to say, Quere and dirá. All right. I will say. Diré. She will come. Vendrá. They will leave. Saldrán. You will want. Two answers for this one. Tú querrás o usted querrá. We will put. Pondremos. 
I will have the verb tener. Tendré. She will make. Ara. They will know. Sabran. He will have the verb haber. Abra. You will fit. Two answers. Tu cabras o usted cabra. You will be able to. Tu podras o usted podra. They will be worth. Valdran. I will know. Sabre. We will fit. Cabremos. She will leave. Saldra. You will say. Two answers. Tu diras o usted dirá. They will want. Keram. I will put. Pondré. We will make. Haremos. You will have two answers. The verb tener. Tú tendrás o usted tendrá. All right, last slide. I will leave. Saldré. He will know. Sabrá. They will be able to. Podrán. You will be worth. Two answers. Tú valdrás o usted valdrá. There will be the verb haber. Habrá. I will do. Are. She will place. Pondrá. They will say. Diran. We will have tener. Tendremos. And lastly, I will come. Vendré. All right, that's the end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, there'll be a lot more on my website if you want to visit it, lawsonsgroup.com backslash, backslash Spanish underscore lessons, or you can email me at alawsons at hotmail.com. Thanks a lot.